and welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Mondo Market TV, the Crafting with Shalin show, <laughs> and we're here today for another fantastic episode. This is going to be super duper. You just wait, you're gonna be amazed with what we're gonna do. But before we get started on that, Remember that your best viewing experience is on Mondo Market TV. On there you can watch the show and there's a chat box below where you can interact with us and send in questions and comments. Mm -hmm. However, we are monitoring Facebook and YouTube as well. So if you prefer to watch on those platforms, feel free to do so and interact on there. And we'll uh, share your comments and, and uh, questions. Remember that this is time with friends, right? We're, mm -hmm. talking, we're crafting, we're having a good time, we're just hanging out with our girlfriends. So if you have questions and comments, send them in so that we know that we're not just sitting alone in a big, yep. lonely studio. <laughs> so, um, and by the way, we do have a little incentive for you to share for you. So all, we have a cool drawing going on and I, this, this will be a surprise drawing. We'll announce the winner at the end, I mean, the, what you're going to get at the end, uh, along with the winner. Uh, but here are the things that you, you can do to get entered to win. Like, comment, and share in the video where you're watching. So like, comment, and share, and you'll be entered to win. The more you participate, the greater your chances of winning. But do those three things, and uh, we'll announce if you're the lucky winner at the very end of the show today. All right, That's Shalane. All right. <laughs> so what are we going to do today? So today I'm going to teach you how to do a farm-inspired felt wall hanging for the holidays for Christmas. Wow. So yeah, I mean, just that fun feeling that you have when you create something that's soft and delicate and the farm feel. I know that's really popular right now and I really like the way it looks. So I decided to create something that's really easy but yet really elegant and pretty. So you can put it up with a bunch of wall hangings. If you, like some people will change out their um, holiday decor on their walls and they'll put pictures up and different things like that. So we're gonna teach you how to do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with felt. And I don't know how many of you really have worked a lot with felt. I really like felt. When I was growing up, I think there was like six colors of felt and now there's like 700. Mm -hmm. So you can get felt in all different colors. So I just felt like for me, I love the off-white, the olive and the burgundy for Christmas. I think it's a very romantic, very elegant feel. And so that's what we're gonna so start with. So can we show them here? Look yes. at this. This is what we're going to create together. It's a gorgeous piece. And it's so easy. And that's the best yeah. part. By the way, check this out. Robin Stedman says hello. <gasps> hello, you, Robin. Robin. Thank I, you for joining I, us. Thank you. Yes. She's a doll. <laughs> and uh, Katie says hi. Welcome back, hi, Katie. Katie. Hi. <laughs> oh, yay. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh, so fun. So. So All what right. we're gonna do is, um, I'm actually gonna show you on the traditional colors of red, white, and green, because you know that is a traditional color. So this is basically what we're making, are these felt flowers. So I don't know, let's put it up there and they can see that. By the way, just so you know, Wilma, welcome <gasps> back Wilma. Wilma, so, yay! Uh, Wilma, was, Wilma was watching the Curious Mondo course that we had this week on dyeing fabrics. <gasps> yes. And uh, she said, during the class on Monday, Kathleen said, sing your own song. And I thought of the Shea way. <laughs> exactly. You know what, Wilma, well, you rock. You're awesome. That's <laughs> so true. So tell me about this so right true. here that we're showing them. So this is what we're going to be making. It's just these felt flowers. They are easy, beautiful, fast, and fun. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. These are the ones I've already got cut out. And we're going we're gonna to make a complete one this time. But I want to show you how I cut my felt out because felt is kind of funny. You can't just take a pencil on some of the felt because you won't be able to see it. So what I do is I take my patterns and you, in the kit, it comes with the patterns, it comes with the felt, it comes with everything. So the only thing you'll need to do is have glue, either hot glue, regular glue, whatever you want, but that's all you're gonna need to provide. So what I do is I take my pattern, but I'm gonna flip it over. So we're gonna have it just like this. And I don't know if a lot of you have these markers at home. I really, these are for that scripting look. You know how you do the script look? I ruin mine. <laughs> I buy them so I can trace patterns. So I do this with mine because they're so long and versatile. So see, we're just gonna trace over, but it doesn't leave a huge mark on the other side. So when you're cutting it, you're not left with a great big black mark. 
So I take mine and um, scissors are super important because they have to be sharp with felt. I was laughing my head off because I had grabbed some felt scissors the other or scissors the other day to cut my felt. And I sat there doing this and I couldn't get it to cut and I was so ticked. And then I realized, oh my gosh, my, my scissors aren't very sharp because I use scissors for everything. So, and all I did was I just went like this. So you're just gonna follow the pattern really easy, really fast. But when, I, um, when we put these together, I'm gonna show you how I trim the flowers. So I don't necessarily keep them all the same size. I sometimes will trim them. And then it just, just changes the look a little bit if you want it fuller, if you want it longer. But I mean, this is, this is the way you should cut with really sharp scissors. So it's really fun. But this is a great gift you could give, make and give away to a relative or a best friend, or I'm sure my neighbor gifts could be this, right, Robin and Katie? <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. So that's how I cut mine out. Easy, fast and easy, but this is the right side I wanna be using. So unless I'm curling my flowers up, there will be just a little bit on the edge, but you can trim that off. How are you like determining this. the side? Um, the side? Yeah, the, the, you know which oh, is the right side. I turned my pattern over. So oh, I actually okay. just turned it over. So when I cut it out, um, so it's like this, when I flip it over, it's actually the right side. I gotcha. So, so that those marks don't, don't show. And um, I did do some in black just to show you what the black would look like. So if you can see that right there, see the little black edge? on a white that's going to show a lot mm -hmm. but i wanted to make an example of what we're going to be doing here so we're going to put this together now and um there is a trick too if you want when you put your pattern on and you want to cut it um, sometimes pa uh, patterns move i love medical tape i love medical tape i know it sounds really strange but um, i usually have four or five of these just sitting around so if I'm gonna put my pattern down, especially felt or something that's gonna fray, I just lightly put these little pieces of tape. So by the way, get this, Joyce. Joyce said, I love this. I made Aww. so many poppies to go on my fantasy fair. It's lovely and Aww. makes a simple thing look beautiful. So beautiful. Oh, I'm so yes. glad. Yes, I, you know, we, we as um, men and women who craft, we have the distinct pleasure of enjoying everything that we do. If you're not an artist and you're not into the crafting world, a lot of people don't understand us. Mm -hmm. They can't figure out what makes us go so giddy when we see something that we can recycle, reclaim, or you know, repurpose. So here's what I did with the, oh, I took my nail polish off. That's cool, that's good tape. Mm -hmm. So um, I put the tape on there, and so when I cut, I can actually cut without it moving. So I'll show you. So medical tape is really a fun um, thing to have. And then you see you can cut and then just cut right over that medical tape. And then you've already caught that spot and it'll still stick. So good thing to have. Medical tape is always good to have. And if you need it to remove your nail polish, it will work. So <laughs> that's really cool. So, all right. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take our flowers so there's a big flower and a little flower. The big one has five. So there's gonna be five little flowers that we're gonna put on top of each other. Let me pull these out here. And all you do is you just take your glue gun and I did not bring my cordless glue gun because it's too big. Mm. So my globs come out too big. I just want them dainty and tiny. So you just take one and then you're just gonna angle it so the, the petals are in between the other petals. And then uh, if you are not used to pushing down on hot glue, don't do it. <laughs> but if you are, you can push that down and just really get the glue to mesh into the fibers. So here we go again, we're gonna do the next one. And you know, you also can, um, you can take the ends of your flowers and brush them with um, a little sponge. 
like this and some some distress ink or some type of color that you want to use I would use a stamp pad and I would just maybe do the ends or you can do the insides so that's just a little tip you can do but you don't have to and then again we're just gonna take this next one if you notice I have to think about which angle to put it on because sometimes I go too fast and then it's like oh man I should have done that so there we go so here we have that's the base of our flower right there so we just made a really pretty flower and the glue is going to take a few minutes to dry i would definitely push inward to pull those petals up a little bit if you want or you can leave the petals flat hmm. either way Looks you can pretty. do but it's just so simple so that is that is the base of the flower look at this base Isn't that you cool? can see yes I like it how it just it looks like a real flower and it's these Here's are the simple back. patterns you can get into a more detailed pattern later and we will have some of those but this one right now is just something that so you if, can do right yeah, away yeah well if you're trying to find a neighbor gift that's you know i think we have these on sale for, for 9.95 right now you can buy these and then just give them to your neighbors as gifts and they're really fast to put together you do not have to stain the wood the wood is already stained so you don't have to worry about that that's fantastic that by the way cool? so since since you brought it up i was gonna wait mm -hmm. a little but since you brought it up you might be asking okay well where can i get that <laughs> kit then since it's so so easy and fun to create and very inexpensive well i tell you just go to mondomarkettv.com mm -hmm. you will see it there we have our introductory promo going on so take advantage of that that the kit includes mm -hmm. the, the wooden frame and includes the felt includes the twine everything that you need in order everything. to create this beautiful gorgeous arrangement and it takes it's super easy and fast for you to create definitely worth it go to mondomarkettv.com to get it all you will need to have is glue and i know you have plenty of glue yeah glue and uh, maybe some glitter if you want glitter you do you not like have to sparkles. put glitter yes some people don't like sparkles and so i don't like to force people to have sparkles so i'll, <laughs> I'll show you um uh, myrna said saludos desde lima peru welcome Hi. Uh, robin said do you like the glue gun or a glue pot better okay i like the glue cut oh my gosh the glue pot better for my florals because i can just dip and go the glue gun, I like to have the precision. So I do, I do like to have like the smaller glue guns I have for um, my projects that are just small and intricate. My cordless glue gun, I love because I can like pile the glue on and it stays warm for a long time. But that's a good question, Robin, thank you. Now, what do you prefer, Robin? Because I know you do a lot of crafting. So do you like the pot or do you like the the glue gun so let us know so while we are got that done I'm gonna show you how to make your inside so this is like your little flower base inside and it's so cute and so fun and what I really like about this is the the felt already has glitter <laughs> so you don't even have to buy glitter you don't have to do anything the felt already has the glitter right there nice and sparkly. super easy so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your felt and these will come pre-cut just like this in your kit. So you're gonna take your felt and you're gonna push it down a little bit, pinch your edges. And um, because this is a stiffer felt, it's a little bit, um, you gotta make sure you keep your edges pinched. And then you just make these little slits. So when you make your slits, and I'll tell you what, those are still not as sharp as these ones. Mm -hmm. um, the problem with using dull scissors is you could actually snip your finger. And you don't want to do that. So you just want to make these little tiny slits. And this is the funnest way, I think, to make the insides of a flower. Because it's easy. And it looks really good. So there we go. So now look. It's all oh, cool. pulled out. Can you see that? Show them that. Yes. Look at this. So that is Let's all see. pulled out. So you just have a slip. Be really careful. You don't want to pull them too hard because you'll pull it apart and then it will ruin. 
See like right here, I have just the edge of that is just barely holding on. So we wanna make sure that we are really careful with it. By the way, Paula Jo said, cute, Shalin. Oh, thanks, Paula Jo. Aw. Oh. We have so many awesome fans here. We totally I just, do. I just love it. Okay. So you're gonna take, my glue gun won't reach a little bit. So you're gonna take a little bit of glue, fold that over. So I've just folded over, pinch it a little bit. Keep going. And I don't do the whole way down because I don't want it to be super stiff. But I'll just do a few spots. Robin says she likes the glue gun better. Ah, you're good, Robin. Pre yes. It's all about precision, huh? It, it is. Well, it all, it all depends on your craft, too. Like, whatever you're making. So if your craft requires you to have a smaller glue gun, you don't want to have a great big cordless one. And if you have a melting pot, unless you have a skewer stick with a point on it, it's probably the only way I would use the melting pot if I was doing... Um, Wow, I'm just like taking my nail polish off everywhere I go. This is cool. So um, anyway, so you folded that all the way there. Now you have this cute little curve. See that? Mm -hmm. And it's all glued. So take your end, put a little dab of glue, a little dab will do ya. Fold that over and just start folding. And then once you get a little ways down, I'm gonna do this. So I'm just gonna keep folding because you don't wanna let it um, come apart this way. So I'm just gonna keep gluing and folding just a little bit. So there you go. There's your little tiny inside of your flower. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? Very cute. And you can... Um, can I show them in the yes. close -up? So you can actually do those with ribbon if you're doing something else or you want to add a few more to the kit that you get if you have something that you want to put in with it. It's perfect. Cute. Cute, cute, you see, cute. see, this will go in the middle there. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. You'll see. So I'm going to put this together then really quick. I want, to, I want to try and get this whole thing done so I can show you how fast it is because we have, what, about 50 minutes, 55 minutes? Mm. So while we sit and chat and talk, we can actually make a really cute floral for your house. And don't forget, for you can holidays. get your kit right now at mondomarkettv.com. Just go there, it's mm -hmm. the Christmas wall felt flower arrangement. Comes with everything that you need. Comes with the frame, comes with the felt, comes with the twine, comes with the pattern That's for you to thing. create the flowers. All you have to do is sit down, enjoy, and relax, and enjoy the process, really. MondoMarketTV.com is where you can get the Christmas wall felt flower arrangement. Just go there right now. During the next 24 hours, yep. we have a special promo going on, so you want to take advantage of that. MondoMarketTV.com. Place where you can have all your creative dreams come true. That's true. I love this place. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep putting these together. So if you just get a few kits and then you have girlfriends over and you just want to hang out and and do some stuff for your neighbors or friends or you know for the mail like that the, the mail lady. You know what? It's, anything. Yes. Anything. And you know what's a really cute gift? That's the thing. It's it's cute. It's so pretty and it's elegant. I mean. We all want to have things that look really nice, but we don't want to pay that huge price. I don't. So I love when I can create something that's really inexpensive and still really pretty. So now we've got those three done. I'm going to have Nash show the red, the three. So this one has five and this one has three. So there's a difference between the sizes. Ah, look at that. This is pretty. I like this. this is a and it has color. glitter right into it, which I really yes. like. I found this the other day and I was like, oh my gosh. You so know what? So this one is the one with three and you can see here right. the difference. This is the one with five. Right. So we have that balance of just, you know, you don't want to make everything exactly even. You want to have a little bit of a diversity there. Oh, diversity so, is good. Diversity is great because it it makes everything not so uniform so see here I'm gonna just pull my felt a little bit I mean look how fast we're making these I mean you're cranking obviously these we out didn't, super quickly we didn't cut them so you, you would have to take time to cut them but but can we say cute cute yes. cute fast cute and the fun thing about doing crafts like this that are fast 
is, um, you know, some people, I remember being younger and having 40 neighbor gifts to buy, and I was just in a panic. I lived in a neighborhood where everybody spent quite a bit of money on their neighbor gifts. I just made crafts. I just figured I'm going to give something from my heart, make those crafts. Exactly. That's going to be good enough. And you know, still to this day, I have people say, oh, I put your crafts out every year. <laughs> it's like, oh, that's really cool. Money and, well spent. And there's nothing better than a thoughtful gift. No. And that is what crafting comes from your heart. Obviously, we know that. All of us who are, are artists who create, we create from our heart. That's where it comes from. And that's what we do. So look at this. I mean, this is a really fast, easy craft. Yes, it is. So on the little insides to the flowers, you have a tiny, a little tiny um, green piece of felt. And so what you want to do is the same exact thing. Fold it over. Just put a little bit of the glue right there. Um, and do your other side. You really don't have to do the whole thing. Well, it's just sticking. And, um, but I mean, cute, fast, and easy. The little slits, be, like I say, be really careful of your fingers. You don't want to end up chopping your fingers while you're doing slits. And then we just fold. So just keep folding. And once you glue the bottom of this into your petals. Just keep folding. It just, just keep, folding. keep folding. That's right. That's a Dory <laughs> thing. Swimming, folding, crafting, painting, it's all in that category. So, I mean, look how cute. And if you get a little bit of glue on the sides, it's okay. So that's the size of the little one to go into the little flower. Ooh, let me compare. So, here's so the little there's one. the sizes. Here's the big one. And that will go in the middle of the flower. Mm -hmm. So really easy. And you know what's really fun about this too is the way we're gonna arrange it you don't have to do it that way. You can do it any way you want. If you want to put flowers around the outer edge and then put a cute saying in the middle, you totally can do that. And I think, um, you know, being creative like that, we all have our own style, the Shea way. I love bending, you know, rules. artsy rules <laughs> a little bit. I really like it because, um, you know, when I was younger, I don't know about if any of you felt this way, but. I always felt like I had to do it exactly how the instructions said to. Mm -hmm. And so it would drive me crazy and I would be like kind of a mess because I'd be like, oh my gosh, I have to do this. I have to make it look exactly right. And, um, you know, I learned over the years that I can be me and I can craft like me and I can create anything I want to create as long as it's not dangerous and doesn't hurt anybody, you know, or poison someone. <laughs> But that's just the fun of it. So again, I'm just making these really fast, really quick, because these are going to go into the centers of all of our, of all of our um, flowers. And I don't know about you guys, but I know for Christmas, I found my Christmas station on my um, cable today, my cable network. Oh, good. I was looking for songs and... All of a sudden, here came a Christmas it's channel. It's too early. Come on. Oh, I watched White Christmas last night. So, you know, <laughs> I really do love Christmas. I love Christmas crafting. I love it all because, to me, the spirit of Christmas is love. So I think love should be, you know, who we are all the time. But that spirit of Christmas just kind of emphasizes it even more. So if you were home doing this with a bunch of friends and you had some really good food to eat, you'd be like the talk of the neighborhood for a long time because they would be like, oh my gosh, she's so cool. And you're like, uh-huh. And like I say, you don't have to do a whole line. I did a whole line. So I just don't want it to go stiff because it's really hard to fold if they become stiff. So those are all done. So I'm just going to roll these. And we're going to put this really cool one together for the traditional red and green. And I love all colors of Christmas. I'm, I'm a big fan of um, silver and blues. And I am also a big fan of the burgundies and creams and olives and the red traditional and green. So, I mean, I love the fastness of this. 
And what's really cool about this giveaway we're going to be doing today is I'm actually making the giveaway <laughs> while we are talking. Hey, you're going to give away the, the I'm, you're giving away too many hints. I know, I'm not going <laughs> to give two more, but yeah. Uh, so we're going to do something really cool at the end. So remember, like, comment, and share, share wherever you're share, watching. Share to be entered to win a surprise gift by <laughs> Shalin herself. You know, life is good when you get little bits of rewards here and there. And yes. Crafting, I don't know about any of you guys out there, and I know I've said that like three times now. Crafting is the most rewarding thing for me besides gathering eggs from the chickens. Oh, really? Because the eggs are a reward. <laughs> After feeding them and doing all the stuff with them, you get a reward. You know, it's kind of like when you raise beef and then you get a steak. Yeah, it's kind of like that. And the cool thing about uh, crafting is that it's anytime you feel like you need a reward, yeah. reward yourself. Sit down every, right. every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Mountain Time. Join it's us. It's your reward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are all becoming family, which is really quite cool yes. because um, I love the fact that we can sit here and chit chat about crafting and there's nothing else going on in the world right now except for crafting. By the right way, now. Bree just joined us. She <gasps> says, Bree! hello, Storm's here. So hoping to be able to watch. <gasps> oh. Well, thank you for joining us, Bree. Bree, thank you. We enjoy all of our We're our having a good fans. time, Bree. Check it out. This is the awesome arrangement we're creating together right yes. now. Look at this, how pretty, how pretty that is made out of felt flowers. And I love the fact that we, you know, really just sitting here chit chatting and we're making a really cute craft. So, Brie, we're glad you joined us. Life is good when our friends are with us. So, check that out. Now we've got them all done. So, what we're going to do is we are going to line these up. So, I've got my three large centers that I'm just going to put a glob of glue. And go right there. And you just kind of push the middle to get it to flare out a little bit. Don't be afraid of it. And we'll do the second one. And the third one. And I need a glue stick. Let's see. So those three are done. So we actually have four white ones. And now we're going to do our red ones. Oh, and I made a little extra one. There we go. Yay. So, okay. So how fun is this? I totally mean, totally fun, easy, fun, fast. And the glitter that's in this one is super cool because I don't have to add the glitter to it unless I want to add a little bit more. So, you know, don't, don't limit yourself. It's all good. But here we go. And if your flowers do come apart, if your glue didn't adhere, just fold it over and glue it. So there we go. Look at that. Look how pretty. We have all the flowers Look done. at all the ones that we created <laughs> in just this little, little, just this amount, little of amount of time. Crazy, and it looks beautiful. Now I wanna see you arrange them. We're gonna arrange them, but first I'm gonna actually trim a couple of these. Ooh, so tell us what we need to trim. What you need to do on the trimming is when I, um, after I cut things out, sometimes they aren't real perfect. So I am just gonna just trim. I'm just gonna keep trimming it until I think it looks proportioned. Just keep trimming. Just keep, just trimming. keep trimming. Just Oh, we should hashtag that. <laughs> just keep trimming. You know, and a little dabble do you, so don't, don't go too overboard or you'll lose your petals. Uh, don't keep trimming. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sometimes, you know, I was watching, um, I was actually watching White Christmas when I was doing some of these. And there was a part in there that I really, 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 really love. And so I was trimming and I was looking at the part and I actually trimmed right smack dab down oh. one of the petals. And I was like, oh, geez. Okay. But that's because, you know, I wasn't paying attention. Because White Christmas. Because White Christmas was on. And if you ask my children, that's the movie that when they were little, they would come in and say, can I sleep with you? And I'm like, sure, because they'd be scared or they couldn't go to sleep. And then I'd turn White Christmas on, they'd go right to sleep. <laughs> so it was a good trade-off. That's why you like it. I do. Yeah, actually it was my dad who got me into the White Christmas thing because my dad loves to watch old movies and I used to watch them with them. And 
I just got hooked to the old movies because they represent to me um, when life was a little bit simpler and, you know, family was the main focus and we all lived off the land, basically. So, so we've trimmed those. Those look really good. I'm going to trim some of the red ones here. Uh, Pris, Pris Hardy says, hi, friend. <gasps> hi, Pris. How are you? Oh, I just, I just love all you guys. And Bree says, wow, it's beautiful. Oh, thanks, Bree. So, Bree, Pris, and anyone who, anyone else has joined us uh, a little bit after I've explained this, you might be asking, okay, where can I get this wonderful Christmas wall decoration kit? I tell you, just go to mondomarkettv.com, go there. Right now, we have a special introductory price, and you're going to love it. It lasts just 24 hours, so mm -hmm. uh, go there right now. And you can see, and it comes with everything that you need. It comes with the frame, it comes with the felt flowers, it comes with the patterns, it comes with the, the twine, everything for you to create this gorgeous, gorgeous yep. piece. And as you can see, it's super easy and fast for you to create, and that's, yes. we love that, instant gratification. So totally. mondomarkettv.com <laughs> is where you go to get it. Okay, now we're gonna arrange. So this is what's really fun. So when you're arranging, I used to work for a lady who did weddings when I was quite young, in, you know, about 18 and 19, and she used to yell at me and say, don't think about it so much and you'll be able to do it. Because mm -hmm. I used to think really hard and say, okay, if this is placed here and this is placed here, then I equally have to place one here and here. And then I'd be like, ah, don't just, start placing wherever it feels normal, it feels good. If you wanna have them you know, all together, you can have them on the edge, whatever looks good to you. So I usually just place mine first. Just to, to get a feel mm -hmm. for it? Just to get a feel. So if you do something like that. And then once it's glued on is when you can start pulling your flowers up and making it uh -huh. a little bit, and I need more glue on that one. G give it a little layer. By yes. the way, uh, Moni says, you could glue the flowers to a headband or barrettes for your hair or make pins to wear. All kinds of ways yes. to use them. They are so cute. Yes. yes. That's so, I, I love that idea. Mm. I mean, if you were throwing a dinner party and you had felt flowers, say, that matched your wall decor, and then you had a pin on our brooch, you know, you made a brooch. I mean, people would think you're like, oh, wow, you're so like classically together. And you're like, ha, that's right. Even though, you know, you might've just rushed to put yourself together really quickly and, oh. So I'm actually gonna not put this fourth one on. I'm just gonna leave that one off because I just want it to be just kind of sporadic. I don't, I don't necessarily want it to look uniformed because I'm not uniform. And then I just start putting my, putting my um, little holly leaves, and this will come, the pattern will come in your kit too for these, and you can put them anywhere you want. Anywhere I usually put them in twos. And I didn't do, and here's an a, a interesting thought. I did not want to do poinsettias because it's overdone. It's, yes, everyone does that. Everybody does poinsettias, and I don't want to be like everybody. I want to be me. So I decided, hey, let's do something different. So let's do a Christmas flower. So that's what we did. So we're just going to look. I mean, look how this is just so fast and easy. And we're just going to put these right up here. There'll be enough um, felt in there to make 14 of these cute little holly berry leaves. So there you go. <laughs> We've got a comment from Paola. She says, hi, Nash, Shahar, and Shalin. I am watching you. Hi, Welcome. nice to see you. Thank you. All the way from Texas. Oh, yay, Texas. Mm, <laughs> love Texas. OK, so look, we've got it on. This oh. is. Brie says, put them on a table runner, too. Oh, my gosh, Brie. Exactly. That is such a fabulous idea. I like how you think, mm -hmm. Brie. So you really don't have to have these, you know, where traditionally it's put or whatever, and you can do whatever you want. I think the runner idea is great. And you can make them big so that when you place all your stuff on your table, you could have actually have the flowers placed, and then you'd be able to put a plate and then have flowers placed so you have little pretty, sections. Pretty. That would be awesome. 
I love it when everybody gives ideas because yes. then I, my brain goes 17,000 more miles an hour and then I start thinking, oh, I can do that at home now. I can do more of that. So now we're just gonna put a little dab of glue, but I'm gonna try and keep it where I was at. We're just gonna push this down. And the cool thing about this is you do not have to make it perfect. Make However it you. way you make it is perfect. That's exactly right. And I wish somebody would told me that when I was like five, because then I wouldn't. It sticks to you. It really does. And, um, you know, I look at my girls now and how creative they are and the things that they do. And it's not anything like me. And I love it because I think, oh my gosh, they they're doing it exactly the way they are. And I am so proud of them because they are so crafty in their own way that some days I think they aren't mine because <laughs> they, they're way advanced more than I am. Now, on that one, I put glitter on the, the burgundy one. And that this one, I haven't put any like glitter stems or anything yet. You can. You can do that. But um, I loved having the glitter just in the felt. And they had lots of different colors of felt with glitter. So I was like kind of in felt overload. I stood at the fabric store and kind of like stared at everything. And the woman came up and she said, are you having a hard time finding what you want? And I said, no, I have too many ideas in my head. Mm -hmm. And then she started laughing and she said, you should try working here. And I thought, <laughs> nope, never have a paycheck. I would just always have crafts. So while we're chatting, look at how much we've gotten done which I think is just amazing. So put your felt where you want it. And if this was gonna go on a door, we have, how do you say it again? Oh, the Paverpol? Paverpol. Mondo yeah, Market has the most idea. amazing product called Paverpol that you can put that on this and it will weaterproof it. So get like the transparent one, mm -hmm. this way you keep the, the colors. The colors. But yeah, makes it, it would, garden safe. It would be awesome because my front door, I know gets weather. And so I, you know, I'm really careful about what I put on my front door because stuff like this would weather rather easily and then I would be in trouble. So there you go. You have your little wall hanging. We've got a little extra one. And life is really good. So if you want to show that. Amazing. Can we say amazing? Wow, amazing this is fast. super pretty. Now let's see. I'll show it to you right here on the, just for you to see the detail on the close-up and then. And see. it's but Christmassy. So it's actually Christmassy, but you could probably keep that up maybe January too. It's a little so pretty. bit. You know. And just for you to see the side view. There it is. See the wood and you see the back. I like this farm vibe. This, this, um, yeah. Uh, Yes, I like it. It's kind of an earthy feel yeah, back exactly. to the basics. And you hang it on your wall and look, I or on your one. door or anywhere. Anywhere. And you can use it as a gift and it's super pretty. And all you have to do is go to Modern Market TV. You go to ModernMarketTV.com and then you'll get the kit, the Christmas wall kit. And it comes with the wood, it comes with the felt, it comes with the twine, it comes with everything comes that you need. With the it pattern. All. Everything you need but the glue. So just go there. During the next 24 hours, we have a special promo going on. So yep. you want to take advantage of that. Go to mondomarkettv.com right now to get yours. And it's super fun because now what you can do is, you know, if you get your, little, your craft done and then you're like, well, I want a few more things. You can embellish by sewing like little things on the ends like these. I don't know if you can show them those beads. Ooh. So you can do little buttons and beads. You could put them here. You can put them right here. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, there's just a lot of different things that you can do. Here's Pretty. red ones. So if you decide that you wanted to do, say, you know, little berries, you could pop some buttons in there for the berries. It would be oh, cute. so It just adds cute. an extra layer to it. So whatever, dimension. yeah, whatever you have at your house, I mean, whatever little things that you have, like, I love little tiny, I don't know why. Why do we all love little tiny things? I don't know, because they're cute. They're just cute. So, I mean, you know, you've got little teeny tiny buttons, and you can actually, like, put the buttons in inside your little 
flowers. You could do so much. By the way, Moni said, my mom said they can be used for around candles. Maybe glue them in a ring and the, and the candle can sit inside the middle. See? Yes. Or even those little uh, LED yeah. lights that yeah. flicker. The little, yeah. oh my gosh, wouldn't that be cute? Cute. There are so many ideas and I just love the fact that we all are on the same page when it comes to ideas and wanting to do things to create, to make things better. Robin we says, are creators. We are creators. Robin says you can make a wreath out of them for any season. And Robin is the queen of wreaths. Robin knows. Robin does a lot of things with wreaths and I'm I, very impressed with what she uses. Um, yes, you can do those in a wreath anything you want. So in the kit, they all come and you can make them and do whatever you want. And you also can take them and layer them. So you do not have to do just the red or the white, the burgundy or the ivory. You don't have to do just those colors. You can actually mix them, put them together. I mean, that would be cute. Okay, here's my brain going. <laughs> so you guys are all giving me great ideas and the table runner idea and the candle ring. Well, you could make napkin rings. That could be a really cute, mm. just a little piece of ribbon right there. You could make a napkin ring. Super cute. Put it in there. So that's really cool So sh shall we announce what the, 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 yes. the giveaway is? Yes. Okay. Ta-da! That's our giveaway, giveaway today. <laughs> so a lucky person is going to get this beautiful piece created by Shalin herself. Yay. We'll ask her to sign it in the back. Um, <laughs> so uh, all you have to do is like, comment, and share in the video where you're mm -hmm. watching. Like, comment, and share, and we'll pick a lucky winner and announce that person at the very end, end of, of the, the show. show today. So awesome. So I'm, I'm just so glad that we can do things that create and stimulate our brains. So this hour that we spend together, we actually start stimulating our brains. I mean, if you notice how many people are giving back feedback of how many ideas we can do from one simple craft. So I, th I think, again, we are a very special group of people because we have these brains that we want to create and better and make things more beautiful. And I am just so appreciative of you guys always showing up <laughs> and being so supportive. Yes, it means a lot to us. We really, truly appreciate it. Yes. Um, Robin says, I like the back of the wood. It's pretty, isn't it? Yes. yes. It's very pretty. I'll do another uh, close up of it. Look at well, this. It's just, it's just, it's pretty. everything it's is wood. simple. It's and natural. when you get a, this kit, when you buy the kit, you don't even have to stain it. You don't have to go out and buy the $10 bottle of stain that, you know, you're only going to use maybe once or twice yeah. or three times. Um, it's already done for you. And that's what's really cool. Um, on the, the walnut wood right there, that is what I really love too, because I love that old farm look, the old yes. rustic. And you know, and I've loved this this style for a long time. I grew up on a farm, and I I enjoy the look of things that are kind of um, simple. They just have a simplicity about them. When I was a kid growing up, Christmas at our house was really interesting because there were so many of us that um, my parents sometimes gave us coupon books at Christmas, and they were like you know. A, extra like I know it sounds kind of funny but my mom gave me one one time that said I get a loaf of bread I mean my mom made <laughs> loaf of bread every week and so for me it was like oh my gosh I get a loaf of bread you know um, jam ice cream homemade ice cream we get time to work with my dad in the wood shop so there were a lot of things that meant a lot to me growing up because we didn't have a lot of the store-bought stuff we had things that were made and every year my dad would make us something for Christmas out of wood. Aww. That's why I love wood. I love everything about wood. I think wood is a natural calming agent and it just makes you feel calm and, and just gathered. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's why when we make things with wood and we use our fingers, we create with our brains and our fingers and we create something beautiful. It doesn't mean we have to have a paintbrush. It just means we have to have an idea. Mm -hmm. And once we get that idea and then we make it all beautiful, it's just like so much fun. So uh, Pri said, <laughs> colored flowers with robin eggs would be cute too. Oh yes, there's so many ideas and I just love them. And that's the fun thing about these kits is they're, they're just fun. They're easy, fun, great to do, inexpensive, but when you get them done, you've accomplished something and you can do it in like, we did this almost in an hour. Yes. So with cutting, you're probably looking at an hour. 
So, all you have to do right now, go to mondomarkettv.com, get your Christmas wall felt wreath, uh, felt flower, Christmas wall felt flower uh, frame kit, and mm -hmm. uh, you'll be all set. It comes with everything that you need. You'll see, it comes with the, the wood, the beautiful wood, mm -hmm. beautiful. It comes with the felt, it comes with the twine, it comes with the patterns, everything that everything. you need in order to create this gorgeous, gorgeous uh, mm -hmm. piece of uh, the, uh, this frame. A piece of art. So yes, and you're gonna have fun. You're gonna enjoy it. Definitely will. So yes, um, go there right now. Okay. See, and I just had another idea for this that I thought would be really cute, and maybe we can hurry and make it really quick. Okay, I'm gonna sneak so it I'm in there. Taking, Let's do it. I'm not taking up too much time, but um, so you see the green on here, and it's this is traditional red and green. Actually, this reminds me, and, and I'm dating myself a little bit, but it reminds me of the 70s. Do you remember how we had everything red, green, and white? You were not born, but. <laughs> Well, <laughs> we always had things that were very either bright and bold, um, turquoise or things like that. But um, we always had these really cool traditional colors. And I remember one year my mom did our Christmas tree and she did it orange. And my little brother wow. had a fit, had a fit. But it was really pretty. It was a flock tree and it, it was just gorgeous. So, so colors will remind you of things too, but I just had an idea and I want to try this and see if it just looks, you know, if this works out, I'm going to put this, these little strips in with your kit and you can wrap them around if you want for whoever the winner is. I'm so excited because I love giving my um, crafts away. <laughs> I think it's really fun when somebody somewhere in the world has a craft that was made by me. And you got to see her do it too. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool is when you walk, drive past somebody's house and you've just done a craft fair and then you notice on their front door that one of your crafts is on their front door, that's just like really cool. <laughs> that's just like, that's just like somebody, you know, saying, oh my gosh, I've got this famous person on my door. So I'm going to make this really quick. This is where ideas come in that I just love because we can take little ideas and change them. Wilma said, I have old barn do boards I could use. <gasps> Those would be oh, cool. Wilma, you are so lucky. So, so lucky. When I was growing, or not growing up, but when they tore our farm down to put a, of all things, a subdivision in, mm. they, um, my dad kept some of the wood and made me and my mom birdhouses. Oh, wow. It was really cool. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go like this. Oh, around. And I'm gonna go right around. Give it dimension. Look how that changes yeah, that. Changes That's everything. so cool. So we'll just snip that off right there. So I will include extra ones in there if you like that because I think that's just so cute. That changes it almost like to a little, kind of like a daisy sunflower. Cute. So see, our ideas are endless. We can do just about anything we want. That one's not gonna fit, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I, I love recycling everything I can find. I'm like, oh, we'll just save this and put it somewhere. That's why I have a crafty house. <laughs> so fun, fun, fun. So Super I hope, fun. who's gonna be the winner for that? All right, lucky winner. Let's see, let's see what they, my producer has sent me. All right, lucky winner, Paola Toto. Congratulations. <gasps> you are the lucky winner. Please send us an email to hello no, to info <laughs> at mondomarkettv.com with your name and mailing address. That's and awesome. we'll get your gift sent out to you. Info at mondomarkettv.com. That's for, awesome. That's super awesome. Congrats. And for all of you who are watching us, don't forget, mondomarkettv.com is where you go to get your kit that Shalene has prepared mm -hmm. for you. Comes with everything that you need. Comes with the beautiful wood. Comes with the felt. Comes with the patterns. Comes with the twine. Everything. All you need is glue and be prepared to have a fantastic time while doing it. Fine. Uh, any final cat comments you'd like to give our friends today? Well, you know, I, I've thought and thought and thought about the last couple of weeks about crafting and, and different things that we do. And um, I, I ran across a woman who was in one of the craft stores that I was in. And she said to me, she said, you know, I'm just too old to do anything anymore. Mm. And I said, well, how old are you? And she said, well, I'm, I'm older than you. And I kind of laughed and I thought, well, obviously, yes. <laughs> but how old are you? And she said, I'm 83. And I started laughing and I said, you know, my grandma was still cross stitching when she was older. I said, you can do anything you want to do. And I think when we set limits, 
to what we can and can't do, we'll never achieve anything. And so I think when we, when we tell ourselves that we can't craft anymore, I think is when our souls will die. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion to everyone is craft no matter what your age and craft no matter what you can do. There are limits if you have arthritis or if you have things that you can't do. But um, you know, for me, I have the use of three fingers on one hand. That's all I have. So I only have eight fingers to work with. So I feel like you know we can always do and be and create. We just can't give up. So always keep your crafting spirit alive. Share it. Share what you make. Share from your heart and just craft on. That's right. Just craft <laughs> on and keep your crafting spirits alive. I That's like right. that. That's All right. right. Well, don't forget that we're live here with you every Wednesday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time, 3 p.m. No, 2 p.m. Pacific, <laughs> 3 p.m. Mountain, 4 p.m. Central, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Mm -hmm. So be sure to join us for another episode of Mondo Market TV. This is Crafting with Shalin. Until next time.